And so begins the end of G8. Well, I say that, but we still have two. I mean, we have these two and then one more. I don't know. I think I'm just excited to start the next saga solely because of the fact that it's going to be uh, like HD, no more black bars, widescreen. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I should know me. We have episodes 204 and 205 today of our One Piece watch through. Again, in the next one, we will just have 206 by itself. And then we'll be starting Water 7. And I believe there's like a short arc right like at uh, the beginning of Water 7 and then like the main portion. We still have some business to attend to here at g8 we have some gold to steal back to heist back last episode was kind of nice just them reflecting on all the adventures they've had with going merry and then we're just down to the nitty gritty like we we gotta have this operation go on jonathan is still questionable and what what he's even doing right now or if he even wants them to get away or capture them who knows anymore but we're gonna hop into it. if you're new to the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get started <laughs> Do you want someone to like stay behind? I feel like, okay, it's Nami's strong suit because she was always like super stealthy at the beginning. And I feel like maybe Sanji? Sanji would stay distracted though. The only adult here is Usopp. Oh, dude, I completely forgot about the waiver. Oh my gosh. Dude, the fact that that waiver is still a, like a, a plot point is so funny to me. Stupidity aside. Oh, he actually does have a whole plan. Look at this guy. Luffy, Zoro, Robin, and Usopp. Mm. Nami and one other? You mean Chopper? Oh, he didn't get picked. <laughs> He's so dumb, man. Nice plan, Usopp. <laughs> Don't leave Chopper alone. Bro, give Chopper a cooler job. Oh, that's true. He doesn't need to stay safe. He is the doctor. <laughs> it does it does work on him the gold recovery team it is in a storage vault most likely it looked like a vault of what they teased well just paddle really i mean i guess under the cover of night it won't be that bad i'm honestly impressed with the disguise of the going mary why is he looking like that what to see how much he likes it jonathan is low-key He's such a baby. <laughs> Tomatoes and carrots. They're such children, bro. Drake's under the impression that they actually made it out. But Jonathan knows they're still here. He's gonna have him eat his food. Dude, such a baby. Like, the cook looks so over it, man. Actually perishing from the meal. Oh, like Drake's an adult. Oh my gosh. Understood. Oh, it's the inspector. He's working against against G8. He really hates this place now, even more than already, like when he already got here. When he first arrived, he was planning on taking it down. Now he's like got this burning age one for it. Okay, so he's letting Drake know that they, yeah, but they're still here. I don't know if he knows exactly where they are, but he knows they're still here. All warships on standby, like dude. He called him Gondoriano! <laughs> Shepard is here to raise hell, man. Yep. Nope. Peace addict hedgehog. Huh. He doesn't let that bother him. I like Jonathan, dude. He knows exactly where they're gonna go. Ask his advice. He wants to have them murdered. I'm not shocked. Oh, why well, you say yeah? Hell yeah, you stand up for his men. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Under the right circumstances, you were. How is he supposed to know exactly what he looked like if he didn't have a picture or anything? Well, realistically, he did know from the beginning, but he'll never know that. His ego is too large. The most powerful squad. I thought we already met the most powerful squad and they got rolled on the bridge stan mary captain the stan mary was a ship he came on right the inspector i don't know why i was under the impression that he was the captain of stan stan mary is he gonna try and yoink it no way oh no he's just after luffy he's so cute he's all alone i swear if my boy gets jumped all alone again and i'm gonna feel so bad Oh my gosh. Oh, they are all on the move. Oh, 
They're all in barrels like it's freaking Toy Story, man. Dude, he's got like his full full fit on. He looks sick. Cautious, this amounts to nothing. Yeah, you can't really plan how to take on Luffy and his crew. Want to take them on? Aww. Or stand up. I think he cares about them too. <laughs> this man is scheming so hard. I have a feeling that it's all gonna try. He's all getting it to try to end up being in the fault of the inspector. I don't think he even cares if Luffy and them escape anymore. He literally is just targeting that dude. That's what. That's my guess. Oh. He wants, wants to leave. And this guy's the captain of Stan Mari? Oh, the Pine Peak. I think he wants to catch Luffy before Jonathan. I don't know, dude. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little lost. He did say the straw hat was his target. Oh, wait. Usopp has his, like, uh, his, his uh, grappling hook belt on. Do the thing. Say the line. I'm sorry, was that it? He has to do it as he goes, too. Okay, I guess they're not really swinging. It's more of a zip line. Oh, there it kind of is. This is just like, like a 007 movie, man. Hey, man, they asked for a heist. They thought they heisted Sky Island? No, this, this is an actual heist. They zip lining and everything. The whole nine. I'm sorry, they're, they're just pushing the door to the vault open? Again, too easy. I guess they're under the impression that the fortress is under the impression that they made it out. They escaped. Push forward! The real Captain Usopp is taking charge. They're all lying in wait. I like how first it's Zoro realizing something is wrong, and then on this part, uh, Robin's the one realizing something is wrong. They're always thinking about thinking ahead while Usopp and, and Luffy just charge forward blindly. I'm guessing it's the inspector's crew. I think the inspector wants to be the one to do it so that the fortress can't take credit. That's why he was already getting those men. <laughs> Buddy, you don't want the smoke. Just let him leave. You don't want the smoke. This guy looks like he got here like yesterday. We're just trying to leave. Oh, come on, pal. Oh, dang. I mean, at least he was confident about it. He's letting you off easy, though. <laughs> this guy's gonna train the rest of his life in anticipation of a rematch with Sanji. What is that? Oh, there's the actual gate. Okay, I was gonna say. Now it's a heist, baby. They just threw their gold behind that. Yeah, what else they got in that safe? I don't think you can just punch that open. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> What's the strategy used against Eneru? You're gonna have to find the actual password. Dude, at this point, I'm expecting Jonathan to show up and be like, hey guys, here's the code. Well, well, well. It was a setup again, again. Okay, now this is actually... Now they're actually like rats in a trap. Now this is extra. Surely they don't let them get away this time. What? Hey, I said like rats. <laughs> oh my gosh. Usopp just sniped that man before he even finished talking. Bro, just shot him. Oh no, he did fire the first shot. Oh, Luffy's just gonna absorb all of them. Oh, yep, there it is. Or bounce them. I don't like how it goes through him. It looks so weird. Okay, that would actually kill some of the Marines. One million percent. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're lucky he, he has master control over, over his blades. Wait, can he actually do this? Let's go, Usopp! He continues delivering! Dude, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Why do they just fall off? That doesn't seem very efficient by opening it, the gears fall off completely. Who cut his arms? I doubt their blades are sharp enough. I'm gonna be honest. He's just lining all the ships up. Oh, this is Drake. This isn't Jonathan. He's just letting them break in. I guess, like, this isn't the whole plan. There's more to it. Who's just swinging on the gear? Nah, Robin's never surrounded. They just wanted her to flex a little bit. Dude, I can never tell if Robin is, like, stupidly overpowered or not. Sometimes I feel like she's definitely holding back. Maybe this is part of the plan. Maybe it's not actually the gold behind this vault. Like they wanted them to break through. Like it just opens up to the other ships. 
Oh, it's falling. See, this, 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 this safe's design just doesn't make a ton of sense. I feel like that was to be expected since the gears were falling off. Bro, you just stand in in where the gears were. It was him waiting. Dude, Jonathan is just the ultimate troll. This man makes zero sense. So it was part of his plan to let them break into the vault. But where does the inspector come into play? I don't know. Next episode, we have two more of this. 205, let's get it. Oh, wait, it's not him. In the wait, there's just nothing. So they realized wh exactly what she took and knew exactly what she would go after. I mean, that's a lot of walls. They're not going to break in that way. True. Just go move on to the next section. Gotta do what you gotta do. See, this is where he, he steps in. Gunderiano! <laughs> he opened all of them. That's where to get out. He's actually going to be the downfall. Uh, his downfall is going to be wanting to take like all the credit for capturing Luffy. <laughs> Gunderiano! Hey, man! <laughs> Remember me from high school? You seem well. <laughs> yeah, Robin being the one that rolled him and took a stomp. With interest. Ooh. I'm shaking in my boots, Major Shepard. Ah, he's right. He's right. Wait, his ego's going to get in the way. You know he wants to just tell him no. Yeah, you're going to crush him. All right, I'm here. I'm ready for it. I'm waiting. Let's see it. Oh, he has a weapon. A portable bazooka. Sea Eagle Talon. Hmm. Um, I'm going to be honest. I think that would bounce right off of Luffy. Let's see it. Wait, it looks like a nuke. I mean, shot a nuke out of that and shot it the wrong way. Yeah, you reloaded? His entire plan in shambles. This dude is so disappointing. And he opened every single door to let them out. Oh, let's leave. I'll have to uh, find the next vault. Wait, I have an idea. Let's leave. Damn. Even gets kneed in the face by Usopp. That's the worst punishment of them all. Oh, my Sanji! Sanji Gun! Ah, yeah, yeah. It's all locked down. I don't like this. Dude, I'm be honest. If I could tell you anything Jonathan was singing right now, I'm. Why, why Luffy walking like that? Oh, <laughs> I'm a reliable man, dude. I would take an entire arc of just Chopper solo adventures. I'm gonna be honest. If that does exist later on, just know I'll be happy. My date part two. <laughs> Wait, she did leave Sanji with Chopper? Oh my gosh, that is so thin. It's kind of sketchy. Almost had him, did you? Did you, kid? Ay, ay. Ay, ay. Uh, they still have to find the gold. I like how they looked right up to where she was. Oh, wait, it's the doctor and uh, the mechanic. I forgot both of their names, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, they can make a plan with them. I love how these two are just like, are just helping them now. <laughs> like father, like daughter. Bro saying alcohol is his medicine right in front of his doctor daughter. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Listen, if Usopp has to lecture you, you know you're really in the wrong. True. They saved an entire Sky Island. They're the good guys. Kobato. What's his name? It's like mechanic. Macau? Kobato and Macau? I just keep thinking of Kobato from, from Naruto. She kind of has the big circle glasses too. Aww. It is their home, especially as pirates. That's okay. Yeah, Luffy's climbed steeper. And by steeper, I mean the mountains on Drum Island, where he was like bleeding from all of his fingers. Oh, yeah, there was a giant fish painting in the vault. The perfect bait. It's the big fishing game. Dangling somewhere. That actually is really good advice, especially from the way that Jonathan has operated. 
He would have it dangling right in front of him. The vault was the first of that bait. Especially if the news breaks. It's like risking the entire base by helping them. Instead dangling, there's just gonna be bright lights on it. Huh? Oh, the waiver. That sounds like the waiver. That's yeah, Nami. I guess it's like the bridge. I feel like he's literally going to have it like a pile of, the, of their gold just in one little place. Maybe in his office or like near it? I don't know. They haven't had like a big confrontation with Jonathan. I mean, Luffy did, but nobody else. Oh, maybe where he fishes or in the water? Dude, the way she does that was so clean. Going right to the belly of the beast. It's only gonna be them two to go get all of it. It's a lot of gold. They're just gonna go freaking balls to the wall. Oh no. Bro, I'm getting flashbacks to like right, like the very end of Skypea with these two on the on the waiver. This waiver has seen some stuff, bro. Just open fire! <laughs> this waiver has gone through it. I hope it doesn't break through all of this. I would actually like for her to just have it casually. Oh my gosh! He's just sitting at his desk. Oh my. Is that the gold? It is the gold. Oh, surprise! Shut up, Jonathan! Shut up, dude! Yep. <laughs> he low key loves it, though. I mean, he's trapped. Maybe he just wanted Luffy, but how would he know Luffy would come? I think I saw the gold. It's like right there. Yeah. Yeah, there it all is. He, that man literally just brought it all to his office and just dropped it on the floor. It's heavy, probably. Just wrapped it all up. Yeah, not like he's gonna let you leave, man. Okay, yeah, I figured. He's a Navy officer, dude. A Navy commander. Like Macau said, they would all get in a lot of trouble. And he's netted again. It just gets worse and worse. Do they have guns, she has a chance? The party tricks! Let's go! It's working! It's like, oh, very interesting. Bro, she's making a thunderstorm. What is happening, man? They're just letting it happen. Why would the guns help? Like, the lightning strikes the guns? Because they're made out of metal? Damn, she's getting really quick about doing that, though. <laughs> I can't, man. Poor Luffy's been like thrown onto the sea prism stone for the second time in less than like three hours. They got the gold. I figured he had a backup plan. It's Jonathan, man. Dude is the biggest troll in this show. How does he have more, dude? Luffy, I'm pretty sure that's the going Mary. I'm like 99% sure. Oh my gosh. They are straight up just sailing around on the fake na Navy ship. I like the perspective of Luffy seeing it, seeing Usopp on board going, oh my gosh, there's a Navy ship right there. Nah, he's got more hidden up his sleeve. See, but they have to. I don't think you understand, Jonathan. He's like, oh, I'll sit back and watch you fail a second time. Where's it get drawn in then sink him? They just gonna straight up destroy the ship? Okay, buddy. Now he sits back and watches. Now both of them sit back and watch both their plans and put. Wait, that's a fishing bowl. It is fishing bowl. His little. <laughs> Dude, Jonathan just finds it all so entertaining, man. And this is going right past all the other ships. It got right up to it, bust, and then it's just like nothing happened. I can't, man. Basically, let him. Guys, I think it's too early to get kind of like cocky about it. You're not home free yet. He's like, oh, no worries, dude. I got, <laughs> I've got my plan. Bro has it down to the minute? He literally just sees this one big game and wants to make the final move so bad. Surely we go right to the Seagate with no problems that require another episode to take care of. <laughs> the crap! 
crab. Isn't that like the same crab from, from, from Syrup Village? Is that a recurring thing? I swear, like it was a crab that like it kept cutting to in Syrup Village all that time ago. Like a hundred, what, 70 episodes? And it would just keep cutting into it, cutting to it, cutting to it until one time it just, it just fell into the water. What, what's the point of this? Is this another thing that the show did that Oda did just to drive me crazy for no reason at all? Just like the ghost, just like the ghost in the ship? Dude, I think if there's one thing to take away from this entire arc is that I, I love Jonathan as a character so much for no reason at all. He's just a troll, dude. Like, he's just having fun. He's, he's not your typical, you know, Joe Schmo Marine commander. Obviously, nothing ever happens here at this fortress, so when he finally gets the chance to deal with some pirates, of course he's gonna draw it out as long as possible. And I feel like when they inevitably escape, they have to escape. When they do, he's not even gonna be that mad about it, even if he is so confident that his plan is going to work. Because in the end, he had a, a stupid amount of fun. Whether that means uh, he's punished for, I don't really know how the punishment would dole out. But if I'm being honest, you could blame a lot of it on the inspector because he did let them out of the vault whenever they were completely trapped like rats in a cage. But guys, that's been it for episode 204, 205 for a One Piece watch through. Again, next episode will be a standalone and then it's right into the next saga, which I'm very excited about. Widescreen, baby. We're almost there. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.